Hello, this is Adrienne Skinner, Director of Admissions with Glen Oaks Community College. Congratulations on taking advantage of this opportunity to earn college credit. Please know that with this comes responsibilities on your part. This video will prepare you with valuable tools to navigate the process and be successful. This is a serious commitment and we want you to know that there are resources available to you. Please know that no matter the location of your courses, whether a high school or the Glen Oaks campus, you are now considered a college student and you are responsible for learning. This begins your real college transcript and that will follow you throughout your time as a college student. The expectations and rules of the instructors may be different than what you're used to. Please be sure not to overload yourself with college and high school courses and extracurricular activities. Please seek out help from our academic advisors, admissions staff, or your own counselor. Free resources like tutoring are available on our campus. When it comes to class selection, you may not have any idea of what to choose from. Please talk to your counselor or take advantage of the Glen Oaks admissions staff when they visit your high school so you can choose the correct courses. Communication is really key to your success throughout these programs. We want you to be successful and make the most out of the experience. So what are the benefits of being a part of these programs? You'll end up with a lower cost of college, you'll be more prepared for college level courses after graduation, and you'll be able to expand on your high school experience. And don't forget, you're going to get an awesome head start on pursuing a degree or certificate for the future. So what is the difference between all of these programs? Dual Enrollment, or the Post-Secondary Options Act, gives high school students in public schools or state-approved non-public schools the opportunity to enroll in college courses while attending high school. When all the criteria identified by the state are met, the student's college tuition, applicable fees, and textbook costs may be paid by the school district. There are some guidelines that have to be met when it comes to the number of courses that you can take. The chart displayed below gives a nice breakdown based upon grade. Up to 10 classes are permitted within your high school career. Some of you may be looking to be a part of the early middle college program. In some ways, this is similar to dual enrollment. It is a five-year program that gives high school students a rigorous opportunity to receive a high school diploma in addition to one of the following, an occupational certificate, an associate degree, or up to two years of credit toward a bachelor's degree. This is accomplished by completing an additional year, known as the 13th grade, in order to complete the requirements of high school and college at no cost. This is an example of how many credits a student might take if they were seeking an associate degree. Lastly, our Career and Technical Education programs, or CTE for short, involves courses that fulfill class requirements for various programs. Classes involving welding, automotive, medical occupations, graphic design, and CAD are included. These are typically started during the junior year of high school. At this point, you are a student that has been identified as meeting the eligibility requirements for our programs. Here are some ways that you qualify. You are taking at least one class at your high school and have taken the MME in all subject areas, and you have achieved satisfactory scores on your ACT, SAT, or course placement tests. You are eligible to take courses for which you have met the minimum qualifying test scores. There are some courses that don't require a minimum placement test score, such as philosophy, computer science, and foreign languages. Glen Oaks has its own set of test scores that we use to determine if you are eligible for a class. Our admissions department will verify that your scores qualify you for the classes that you want. There are simple steps that you can take to become a dual enrolled CTE or early middle college student. Let's begin with dual enrollment in CTE. First, visit with your high school guidance counselor to determine your eligibility. Next, Take the course placement test or submit your ACT or SAT scores. Students must test out of basic or developmental levels of reading, writing, and math. Students are required to complete a Glen Oaks Now orientation prior to being registered for courses, which is what you're doing right now. Complete the Glen Oaks Now application available in the High School Guidance Office, the Glen Oaks Student Services Office, or at glenoaks.edu. Students must sign the application as well as a parent or guardian and the high school principal. Once applications are received with required signatures and orientation is complete, the admissions office will register students for classes. A schedule will be mailed to the student's home to confirm registration. Please check the schedule for any discrepancies and notify your guidance office or the admissions office immediately if your courses or section numbers are incorrect. You can also access your class schedule online through your GoZone account. Along with the schedule, students receive a letter from the admissions office and information on accessing grades and student email accounts. Your student ID number is located on your schedule. Please read all information carefully and activate your GoZone and email accounts.
Check with your high school to determine if they handle the cost of books or if you need to purchase materials for class. The high school will be billed for tuition and applicable fees, and students are responsible for any costs not covered by the school district. Lastly, attend class, complete the work, and enjoy the college experience. For those of you planning to be part of the Early Middle College program, you will want to start by picking up an application packet from your high school counselor. This will include a separate document titled the St. Joseph County EMC application that you will first turn into your guidance counselor. They will determine eligibility based on your high school standing. Next, you'll complete any necessary placement testing and submit scores with your packet. Accepted students will be considered an Early Middle College student in the upcoming fall semester. The packet you submit should include the following documents. Course placement scores, two recommendation letters, an essay, FERPA release form, and a proposed five-year educational development plan. The EMC coordinator will submit your application and registration form to the admissions office where it will be processed. The schedule will then be mailed to your home along with a welcome letter. You can find your student ID on the schedule. Just like dual enrollment in CTE, check your schedule for any discrepancies right away. EMC students should check with their high school about textbooks. The high school will be billed and students will be responsible for anything not covered by the school district. Here's a sample of what your schedule will look like when it arrives in the mail. Included in this mailing will be a welcome letter, steps for logging onto your GoZone account, and a semester drop and add date calendar. Please don't assume that you are registered for courses unless you receive this in the mail. On the top right, it displays your seven-digit student ID number, and this will always be your ID number with Glen Oaks. On the left is the name of your class, followed by the time and days of class, and the location of the class. Here's a list of some of the class locations you may see on your schedule. MB means main building, so at the Glen Oaks campus, and DL stands for distance learning, which means your online classes. Next, you'll find the instructor's name, followed by the start and end dates of the semester, and the number of credits. Remember to check this for any discrepancies once you receive it. If your classes are located at Glen Oaks, then you will follow the break days and closings of Glen Oaks. If your classes are located at the high school, then you will follow the break days and closings of the high school. There may be times where you need to be at one location and not the other. If this creates a conflict for you, you are responsible for talking to your instructor to make arrangements. Course placement testing may be necessary for you to be able to be placed into a class. We will provide testing at each area high school one time each spring. If you do not meet the requirements based upon that testing, it is your responsibility to come to Glen Oaks to retake the test. The test is always free for students. Students must wait at least 24 hours before retaking any part of the test. Students are only allowed to retake that test one time per semester. And please take this test seriously. Placement into class depends on it. If you're planning to take an online course, please know that you will have to do an additional orientation. If you do not do that orientation, you will not be allowed to join your online class. To access this orientation, you will receive an email with instructions one to two weeks before classes start. This will be sent to your Glen Oaks student email, which is within your GoZone, and it will include instructions for logging in and taking the orientation. This is yet another reason why it is important to log into your GoZone, and please let us know if you are having any troubles with this. Sometimes, seats fill for a class that you want by the time you are able to register. If this happens, you have the option to be put on a wait list. You will be notified that a seat is open for you through your Glen Oaks student email account. If you are on the wait list, please check your email every day. Once you are notified, you will have until 11.59 p.m. the next day to add that class via WebAdvisor in the GoZone, or you may fill out the change of schedule form with your guidance counselor. Either way, your guidance counselor should be informed. If you miss that deadline, the spot will be offered to the next student on the list. If for any reason your new class interferes with another course, you will need to add or drop classes so times no longer conflict. Do not add any new courses if they have not been previously approved by your guidance counselor or the principal. The high school and or the college may drop you from the classes that have not been approved. The admissions office will complete your initial registration process, basically the classes listed on your dual enrollment application. If you would like to make any changes after the initial registration has been done, please talk to your counselor. Here are some quick how-to videos on how to log into your GoZone and add or drop classes. Although this step is doable on your own, it is best to make any changes to your schedule through your high school counselor. Go to the Glen Oaks website and then click on the GoZone tab. 
First, you'll enter your username, which is the first letter of your first name, plus your full last name, and this is all lowercase. That will be followed by the last three digits of your student ID number, which is located on your schedule. Your password is your full last name, with the first letter capitalized, followed by an exclamation point, and your full student ID number. Once you are in the Go Zone, you'll see announcements in the middle section, which can include class cancellations. And this is the link to access your student email account. On the right is WebAdvisor, where you can register or drop classes and check your grades within the Student Academic Profile section, as well as many other features. Click on Registration, and then click Register for Classes. First, select the term that you need. Then select the subject prefix. You can be specific and choose the course number and section number, or you can even select the time of day that you need the class, or even the days of the week. For this example, I'm going to be general and just choose the subject prefix. What shows next are the classes that are available for that semester. I'm going to choose this first one. What this also displays is if the class is open, the section name and title, the location times and days, the faculty, and the credits. Once I've made my choice, I'll click Submit. What happens now is that the class goes into what is called a preferred section. I'm still not registered for it yet until I click Register under the Action drop-down menu, and then click Submit. Now I can see the classes I have registered for, and I'll click OK. Go to the Registration tab, click on Manage Classes, and then select the class that you want to drop, and click Submit. Now it tells me this is the class I've dropped, and these are the ones I'm still registered for. If I'm satisfied with that, I can click OK. One question that we always hear is, will my credits transfer? Yes, we have transferred our credits to many institutions in the state and nationwide. Please note that you must have a 2.0 or better in the class for transfer purposes. We also want you to be aware that sometimes college requirements differ from one institution to the next. For example, a medical field program may require a higher level of biology than what we offer at Glen Oaks. It is so important to contact any college that you're looking to transfer to to find out their requirements so you're not surprised later on. A great website to check out is the Michigan Transfer Network. Please be advised that it may not show all the transferable courses from Glen Oaks. So let's fast forward a few years. Now you're ready to transfer the credits you have earned to another college. The process is fairly simple. Just go to our website and fill out a transcript request form. Mail or fax that into our office and that's it. You can always find your unofficial transcript on your GoZone account. As we get to the end of this orientation, I want you to remember these key things. Regardless of the type of program you are in, whether dual enrollment, CTE, or early middle college, your performance does matter and it can affect your financial aid in the future. Financial aid has its own regulations listed here, such as completing a certain percentage of your classes and having a cumulative grade point average of 2.0 or better. If students don't meet these requirements, it could put them on a financial aid warning in the future. If you have questions about these regulations, please contact the financial aid office at the number on your screen. Also remember that your grades in these courses will be recorded on an official transcript. The grades you receive will become a permanent part of your college transcript. Talk to your instructors about your options if you're struggling in class. Pay attention to the drop and add and withdraw dates listed on the Glen Oaks calendar. Please notify your counselor of any changes. By law, if you fail a class or drop it after the refund deadline, you will be responsible for reimbursing the school. Please know that because you're in this program, we do consider you a college student, and that means we cannot release your grades, your attendance, or your class progress to parents, even if you are under 18 years old. Any questions on a student's academic progress should be directed to the high school guidance office. The high school counselor will contact the instructor or the admissions office with any requests. When you signed your application, you gave us permission to share your info with your high school. However, your instructors are not required to give out that information to anyone else but you. I know we covered a lot today, but if you have any further questions, please contact the admissions office at 269-294-4253 or email us at admissions at glenoaks.edu. Please don't forget to complete and submit the orientation quiz to receive credit for watching this video.